He's qualified Thank you, for Germany. And Not lost a frame, frame yet this week in Glasgow. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. So let's see what unfolds. Ronnie O'Sullivan to get us underway. Sentiment has to be set aside by both players, particularly Ronnie O'Sullivan, who, of course, uh, has looked up to Jimmy White for many years. But he's here and he's got a job to do, and that's to get through to the last 16. Hit, th hit that one all that well. I'm not even sure quite what he played there. Maybe onto the pink left middle because the black, of course, not potable. But he, that was not one of his smoothest strokes. Sometimes a build-up to things can, you know, can get a bit too much. We've all had occasions like that. We've all watched sporting what? events like that where the build-up is so big. I think that's what it was like in in Belfast. It was a big. There was lots of we made lots of it, and rightly so. Not quite such a big drama about them playing again, although it's a match a snooker player or enthusiast would never miss. So we may just see them relax a little, a little quicker. Four. Well, remarkably, that they first met as professionals 23 years ago in the European Open, 1993. Well, that was a surprising early miss O'Sullivan for four. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, those first couple of shots he played, I mean, he's got a new tip on, and um, he pushed the ball thick. He pushed it onto the ball, if, if you know what I mean. You play with a little bit of side, and it goes the other way, and you hit, miss shots on the thick side. If you're going to miss them at all, it seems, in my experience. Backed up by those couple of shots we saw from O'Sullivan there. One. It's, it's definitely not ideal changing your tip mid-tournament. It's happened to most of us at times. It's annoying. But if you feel it goes and you, you feel like uh, you can weather the storm with something new on the, on the end of your queue, then all of a sudden it can end up playing very well. I think the World Championships is an example of that. You hope to start off with the a tip that will last all the way through. No, that's too thin. So a little edgy. Jimmy White. Both players. Yeah, as we uh, see the miss again from Jimmy White. You know, White's playing a lot better at the moment than he was last month when they met. O'Sullivan's got the issue with the tip, but although the signs point to potentially a better result for White, as O'Sullivan misses that one, he's still got to put four frames on the board, and that's easier said than done. Playing on the main match table for the first time in the tournament. But that tip uh, could be an issue today for O'Sullivan. I think certainly, though, Jimmy White comes into the match feeling more confident than he did last month. He's had some good results. He's qualified for Berlin. He's played well this week already, not lost a frame. So he must be feeling better in general and more able to play his natural game rather than what we saw in Belfast, which is when he, was, he went slow, he went negative, didn't play the Jimmy White game at all. This is uh, very troublesome. The, uh, if the red does slip past the black. When he 
thinking not. Very tight. But it was quite hard for him to, to get a good safety shot in from where the balls were. Black there at his mercy. He thought he'd play as a shot to nothing. Well, he's looking a little bit uh, disappointed with a couple of shots. Hopefully for him, his concentration's there. Five. <laughs> well, that's unlucky, Seven, actually. Four. It was a very thin part. I mean, keep, I think, probably got, went in before the, the red got to the pocket. Leo Scully and the referee for this match. Good to see Leo back. We've seen him in the last few months. Come back from very serious illness in the last two or three seasons. Nice to see him back officiating. Flick on the green is very handy. Otherwise, I don't think he's on a ball. It's a good pop. the worst outcome. I mean, he's not on a red at, at all Four. with the black there. Well, I don't know if that red will pass the black. I mean, Ronnie had a, a red at a similar angle, albeit nearer to the pocket, which he thought didn't pass it. So it's going to have to be a safety shot, I think. Right, four. Well, a rather edgy start, but of course these two, you know, legends of the game, but not immune to all the talk around the match and the build-up as well. I guess they want to put on a show, but snooker's a tough game. And Ronnie's hardly played a, a shot as he meant to so far. Even that shot hitting the jaws of the middle bag, almost every shot has been. So unlike him. Again. <coughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? You just can't even get a shot right. Uh, it's, it's quite incredible. It's never really unlucky when you hit the jaws of the 
middle pocket and the cue ball comes back because it's clearly a misjudgment. <coughs> I always think this is the biggest day of these Home Nations events. Thursday with two matches in a day, the round of 32 followed by the round of 16 tonight. We go from what's been a very big field the last few days. We started with one, two, eight, and then by the end of this evening, eight will remain. Another shot that's oh, not gone to plan. Finishing about a couple of centimetres short of the bunch. In a minute, he'll play one that uh, he'll be pleased with, I'm sure. Is that right? Right. Going to play the same shot anyway, so it probably doesn't matter that much if they're fractionally out. Going to try and play it better though, and he has. Well, I'm not making excuses for Ronnie O'Sullivan, but I think that the fact that he's got a new tip uh, and uh, with half an hour practice with it, he's um, just struggling, struggling to find any range. All the shots are different. Any snooker player watching would, would know that you need more than half an hour, but these things happen. And these reds converging over the black, it, it make you wonder whether it might end up not a stalemate for sure, but certainly a fairly a cautious start to the match. Because often when you see this, the Reds get closer and closer to the black. There's something else to give. There's no other shots and to keep chipping Reds towards it. Really nice safety shot. There is an edge though that Ronnie can get to again, chipping a red towards that right corner. He likes that jaw, that middle bag, and the other side, doesn't he? It's hit about four times so far. Well, the, the red that he might play here is kind of directly towards the black. He could chip it in if he isn't careful on this. Does he hit it thicker or thinner than the what would be the, effectively the potting angle? He's playing a different shot. I understand why. Well, this is a good one. Whipping the cue ball around the angles. That's a very fine safety shot from Jimmy White. Well, so far it's been a bit more Charlton Griffiths than O'Sullivan White, this. Obviously the black going near the corner hasn't helped.
He's playing here with left hand side to find a thin edge. That's a good comeback from Jimmy. <laughs> well, we kind of did predict this might happen. Not before the match, I might add, just during when the black went safe. Ronnie trying to stop something from turning into a stalemate there. But, uh, he's played a good shot. Anyway, it's not quite a snook, but the black is now away from there, so that might change things. I don't know if there's any sort of a plant in there, about seven ball plant or something, but doesn't think they're quite lined up, those cluster of reds on the right of the table. This is also a good shot. I still see an escape. And down for the pink on the right. They'll play. Swinging the cue ball back up to Bulk. Well, Ronnie, I think, was getting a little fed up with that whole stalemate situation and has taken a gamble. I think, as he left the red on, it must be a tight one, Jimmy, looking down the line of the shot. No, as you can see, not even with a little bit of swerve can he get to that. As he really bent down on it, actually, maybe he is playing it with a lot of right-hand side. Well, he could get to it with a swerve. That was a great shot. It was a big swerve. It's a fine shot. As long as you get past the green and play it slowly enough, the side has time to react. It's always going to be difficult to get the reds open. I wonder if he's on the one he's close to. Eleven. It's a very difficult shot to play, goodness. But the table is pretty difficult to make anything happen with as well. I mean, 24 points deficit. Why? Let's see how he goes about this. The Reds are really tightly bunched and he has to play a, some shot to just free them all. But it's not happening here. The, the pink pots up into the top left, but he's on the black anyway. Now, does he play this drag it in or try to swing the cue around the angles? Well, there's a new tip shot again. I won't keep on about this, but you hit them thick, those old. shots. They just push left hand side and it goes to the right. 
and uh, hits too much of the black. It'll be on Ronnie O'Sullivan's mind, I can tell you. Yes, if he starts to lose confidence in his queuing, then he could have problems. Highest break so far in this match, 11. One. I mean, those reds, six reds there, all in the, in the line, it's unbelievable. How on earth do you get those in play? It's not really a very good angle on the blue to do so either. It's a bit thin. Jimmy White, one. Jimmy put in a quick one there. Didn't really bring the cue back as he would hope. But look again, there's just nothing there. I mean, he could roll up to the first red, but it's not in his nature to play that shot unless he's got nothing else. So that's all he's done. Foul. Foul. Yeah. And uh, Sullivan, four. he left the queue there too long, and the red came back and hit the, the tip of his queue. It wasn't a foul until the shot was played, if you watch. There you go. The foul points in the frame, 16 so far. <coughs> it. Thank you. Nine. He's uh, done his best to open things up, but it's just an awkward table. Well, if that's a two-ball plant, I mean, both threads would have to be really flush against the right cushion. So I don't think he's going to be interested in that. Ryan Sullivan, nine. In an ideal world, he'd love to just lay up to, not those two reds, but the red to the left of shot, just in behind where the pink is, somewhere down there. That would be a perfect place to leave the cue ball, but it's hard to get there. And the more you look at this, the more you realise it's quite a difficult snooker. I think you can make contact, but not in a way that can ensure the red goes safe, or any red. Red I was speaking about, and uh, it was oh. actually closer to hitting right, that Solomon than what it first looked, because he only had to go up a little bit more, and he'd been laying onto that red by the pink. So basically, the shot here is just to miss the two reds, and hit when you hit that right cushion. I think he's trying once again. It's the red by the pink. Well, let's repeat almost carbon copy of the previous. Foul and a miss. Right, hold on for. Well, this is almost like a separate competition here with the fouls. Twelve each. Oh 
Wow. Well, at least uh, he doesn't have to go back. He'd be quite relieved about that. <coughs> this plant, it, it, both players have looked at it. I mean, it, it's unusual that two reds would be dead set down a cushion like that. And if he plays it at any speed, of course, he could always rattle it. Goodness me, what a shot. Obviously, it had Wonderful. to be on in the first place. And it's unlucky that the other red in the plant has now gone safe. Yes, this frame uh, is like swimming through glue, really. It's just tough. And there's only eight points in it. Oh, he's done his best to open things up there. Didn't quite happen as intended, it's but he, it's not his sort of frame. It's not either of their sort of frame. He's still got a pot at this red. But he's not knocked it in. So after 26 minutes, Ronnie O'Sullivan leads by 15 points. The highest break in the frame is still only 11. One. Well, again, not struck well. He over did the screw, but he also nearly missed the pot. <coughs> Blue ball. Jimmy White, one. Well, that shot could have been played better. It's not left Ronnie with a lot to do on the safety here. At the point where he actually thought it was worth the risk of the pot. That was quite a difficult one to go for. Of course, there's the chance here if um, whoever pots his second last red could leave the most evil snooker imaginable. That wouldn't be difficult by any means. Ronnie trying to break the shackles while playing that shot, just getting that red out of that little corner. I guess it's the start, Dave. All the viewers would have uh, certainly not expected to see what they think. Home nations, hashtag. We thought we'd see breaks galore, didn't we? We still might, but this has been a very strange frame. Let's be honest, if you've tuned in late, you've not missed that much of this one. It's been a low-quality frame, balls went awkward. Ronnie O'Sullivan's got an issue with his new tip. And it's almost like it's put more pressure on Jimmy White. The fact he's seen O'Sullivan struggle, he knows he's got a good chance the way he's been playing, but he's not played a good frame either. A left-handed shot, perhaps, for Mo, uh, for Mo Sullivan, who plays the, the red on the left cushion. Can he reach it right-handed? Oh, it seems to be a left-handed shot for someone like him anyway. Albeit a difficult one. Moved on to the rest shot. He's not happy with it. Seems just about every shot has been awkward so far. Thank you. And you get days like that. Why? Every shot has got a degree of difficulty about it that, that puts you off.
Brian O'Sullivan, one. So a Sullivan 15 in front with a chance at this last red. Struck that one very well. Doesn't matter about the blue being safe. In fact, that's a uh, help to him because he didn't need it. Yeah, struck that well. Keeble just off the side cushion. So yellow and green after all of that to win this opening frame. It's been going 31 minutes. It's not quite the start we were anticipating between these two. No. If he pops the brown, the 13 will be the highest break of the frame. Thirteen. And he's developed the blue. So despite a few problems with queuing and with his tip. He's going to win the frame. Jimmy White's going to have to play as well and probably better than he has done so far. And he has played well in Glasgow this week. But it's been a struggle this opening frame before O'Sullivan finally got in with the last red to make this little winning clearance. So pals at in Glasgow. Ronnie O'Sullivan wins a tough opening frame, 32 minutes but has made the telling clearance from the last red. He leads Jimmy White here at the Scottish Open by one frame to nil.